on to music. Uh, Rosalia versus Carol G. They're beefing. Um, I don't know if Carol G has really responded or made any comments or done anything in, in, in return. But it seems like it's mostly one-sided from what I've seen. Um, what have you seen? I'm not... Essentially... Aware. Essentially, I know the the reason because it's hard, but I didn't, I didn't see Rosalia say anything. Uh, because of who? So, so the issue is the the two songs that they have. Yeah, yeah. that sound similar. Don't sound similar. What do you guys think, bro? Finish the thing and I'll, I'll get my tops. Okay, <laughs> intro the thing. In. So they have similar song, or the problem is that they have songs that may sound similar, and Rosalia is calling her out. She is posting stories and Instagram posts that obviously are alluding to saying fuck you carol g um and saying you know she's the original song that carol g's stealing um that's it that's the issue Bro, rosalia doesn't control all merengue songs right all merengue songs are gonna sound the same like it you don't own that genre mm-hmm. that sound yeah that sound so and carol g does this all the time she fucking the last one had a cumbia. Mi ex tenía razón. Mm-hmm. Fucking. Um, that's a cumbia? That's a cumbia. <laughs> to me, that's a cumbia. Fucking. Uh, that was like some. Um, like Selena shit. Yeah. I'm with you. Uh, and Karo G does this a lot. She ventures into different. Sounds and genres. Yeah. 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 With songs. So to me, I don't, I don't see. The, I don't see the fucking. I've never liked this uh, argument. Yeah, because why did if that was the case, Rosalia call out Bad Bunny for um, what's the one on the Después de la Playa on the Vanilla Sinti? I hate when people choose who to go at. Like yeah. when other people have done it. That's what I took it as. I think she's using Carol G's clout and who she is, and what she means to reggaeton for the attention on this. But she hasn't dropped anything. Like if you're gonna drop a track. Not a diss track. I know fucking <laughs> Rosalia is like gonna get in the booth and <laughs> drop like a quick sixteen. I'm saying drop a song, and then obviously you'll have some sub. There'll be some bars in there, but it's not gonna yeah. be fucking Family Matters Part Two or some shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. That's what I don't. I don't get. And honestly, God, these songs are fucking way better songs than this bad shot. That's just a banger, bro. That song is. is a banger. Yeah, it is. They yeah. played it at the after. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, a lot of fucking ninety nine percent Colombians, yeah. but that's that's it. That's just it. Yeah, I don't. I just don't see it. I don't. I don't get the. Uh, it feel like it, it's a it's a lazy argument. Yeah, like it's too easy to make. Like yes, you're made. That's like saying, well, they made a reggaeton song and I made a reggaeton song. And they sound similar, so yeah, they're that, stealing from I, it. yeah. Yeah, I hate, I've always hated that argument. If if Karo G was calling herself like Moto Mami or some shit, I, right, 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 I get your your thing. Right, I get you, Victor. Your take. I, what do you think? I didn't really know what the issue is. Okay, <laughs> that's all right. You don't. Hey. All I didn't know anything. The only thing I knew about that is that Rosalia was dating another girl. What? Yeah, that's, that's news to me. <laughs> yeah, my girl was telling me about it. Break, break. Today. I guess we have different. Uh, That's it. Was it algorithm. I was seeing that. You know what? Was... Well, my girl told me. Yeah. Not nah, give it to me. I mean, I he didn't really know. tell me much, but she was totally <laughs> me. An act, another actor. <laughs> she's gonna tell you. At least let her tell I you. Know. The, you know, go in depth. Yeah. It was last minute. I had to... Okay. All right, but she was. I forget what and what her name was. But she okay. dated an actress. She dated one, or she's dating one. She's she's. They, they have a romance going. So she broke up with the other one. Oh, with the... Oh, with Liz. Right. <laughs> Shit, I, yeah. I completely forgot. Nah, they didn't lie. The guy on the bear? That was a publicity stunt, no? Publicity for who? Him? <laughs> huh? For him or her? Signed to the same. For her ex. No? Yeah. Oh, like to go against them. Right, yeah. To fuck with them. Maybe. Because that's what some girls do. Like, they'll go the complete opposite way when... Yeah. Just to prove a point. But anyway. Yeah. But in regards to the beef, I mean, yeah, you can't really... <laughs> Right. Unless the song is exactly the same word for word. Right. Bar for bar. Yeah, bro. You can't yeah. really claim something like, to be yours. It comes off it comes off as hating. It does. If we want to do it with the um Jay Cortez, 
JOP shit. The que, yes. que onda especial. All right, we we could be about that one. All right. That yeah. one was, oh, but the, that that one was actual like it was the same song. Yeah, it but, was the same. It, but it was yeah. me because JOP was on. Yeah, yeah. Supposed to be on Especial, and then and then he took a one up vessel, whatever. That was actual beat. But don't sure. fucking come to me with this. We both made merengue song. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I am with you. It just comes off as hating. And what song I, was it? Do you guys know? It's her this, song. It's um, Despecho. Yeah. Uh, and the Karo G one is Siantes that's Rosalia no that's uh, that's Rosalia. Rosalia yeah Karo G's is Siantes to Vera Conocido the special came out in 2022 and this yeah. one just, just came out this you year. can't claim that right now dude <laughs> what <laughs> two years later yeah that's what that, that yeah. came out in yeah, yeah. like it's already yeah yeah, you were saying that they're trying to piggyback off of that. Because what are you saying that she looked back at your 2022 song and and was like, like "Oh, this was a banger." Off. Yeah, let me fuck. It. All right, but which is plausible. It is, yeah. Make sure you're like, "Yo, I need to drop a merengue shit," but yeah. But also, yeah, you're not the first one to drop a fucking merengue song. Yeah. All right. But I think it also comes to the point where, like, sometimes you'll get too much. I don't know how to say like inspiration from a song mm-hmm. that you don't even know like it's in your head, but then like you kind of end up creating the same thing. Yeah, but I mean, like, like that be, yeah, just yeah. by you know you, you kind of just have it in the back of your head, but that's not what you're mainly thinking about. Yeah, or you could not be thinking about it at all, and it's just like yeah. it just sound it just kind of just reminded you of what that was without you knowing it, and then you kind of get to that point where you make that song without. Yeah. The intention of making the same song. Yeah. I think what she's accusing is... Of stealing. Is, yeah. is not as believable to me. Yeah. Like, it's, of course it's possible. But... Sure. Uh, I, don't, I just don't see it. So, that. Rosalie, the friends, when Karo G dropped um, Condigo, like, earlier this year, yeah. they were telling her the same shit about that song. I said it on here. Um, the, the, it sounded like um, Bleeding Love by Leon, Leona Lewis. Oh yes, yeah. yeah, you did say that. So and then, like, this mm-hmm. was—I thought this was funny. So after the the internet was saying that, Karo mm-hmm. uh, G dropped a video. It was like a whole recording of her FaceTiming Leona Lewis in preparation for the song. And like Leon, Leona Lewis was like, "Oh my god, yeah, I love this idea. Like, I love you. Like, you're gonna recreate it pretty much in Spanish, even yeah. though it's different. Um, the the subject matter is not the same. Yeah, but." B wise, yeah, B wise, and the sound melodies or whatever. Got to drop that after, like, this was like a week or two after the song came out. Mm. When I saw that, I I saw it as, I, I one, I didn't believe that she did that before. I thought, it was, thought like, it was her covering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, for I, her taking the song. I thought you just saw the backlash and you were like, I need to get to. Like, but I, could be, I mean, she probably did, but I, it just the timing wasn't. Like I I think if it was like genuine, you should have dropped it like the day of the song or the next day or beforehand. Yeah. In the lead up, like, hey, I got something special. This is the idea. This is what I'm doing. And then the song. Nah, because nah, then you got to hear the song first. You know? So, like, yeah, it's kind of fishy that you kind of wait till you get the backlash to be yeah, to a week was, later. It was a while. It, it wasn't like. Because why are you recording that conversation? You know, that that's the part. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everything stays. Like, if you were recording it <laughs> and you're dropping it the next day, I would be like, oh, okay, I get it. Like, you know, everyone. Part of the rollout. Yeah, people yeah. record themselves in the studio and yeah, their yeah. whatever. But it's iconic moments. Yeah, mm-hmm. but that one was like it was a week or too late, and she was covering for herself. Yeah, that's what you I think. think. That's what okay. I thought. I see that. That's a good theory. But once again, I didn't. When that's, I mean, well, I didn't like that song, but right. um, I but, when I heard the song, I that's the exact song I heard when I heard it. But is that stealing though? It's not. It's not right. That that's taking influence. Same thing. What um. Eladio Carrion did on his yeah. EP. Well, that was literally, he sampled like the whole beat. Yeah, but my point is, you're taking influence yeah, yeah, from a yeah, song yeah. that's already out and, you know, making a version of it yourself. That's not necessarily stealing. Stealing, I feel like it's like you... Word for word, you, or like you stole you, whatever. You legit stole the idea and the beat. That's still the concept. Right? Yeah, one of the two. You, that to me would be stealing, but... Just to have a song that sounds similar, or maybe took influence from your your songs, just too—it's not enough. Not enough evidence. Yeah, I don't. And I think that happens every day. 
Yeah. I brought this shit up, bro. Like, yeah. just because one motherfucker makes the chair doesn't mean no one else can make a fucking chair, dog. Like Dio exactly. Vaughn said, I mean, people were just standing around, but when they didn't make the chair. <laughs> Did he really say that? <laughs> he has a whole soliloquy on there. Oh, okay. shit. Because sometimes he'll go on his podcast and he'll just be by himself. And he'll bring up the date of when, on paper, the chair was invented. Mm-hmm. And he would just like, people before it is, they were just standing around. Right. And great, everyone has an, say great yeah, an interpretation of right. that, that chair. Yeah. Yeah. People I wish. Would... Um... But two, hey, two tier one artists going at it. <laughs> At the head, <laughs> maybe Rosalia is trying to get up there. Maybe I, she I, thinks, I think, I think she saw that. Like, oh, I think that's what it is. It yeah. slowed down a little bit since yeah. the Dow. I know since Dao. La Familia was <laughs> no. talking down on him. Okay. No, but ever since she's after that, well, she hasn't dropped music either. I'll give her that. She hasn't dropped music, but it's uh, that's kind of it's kind of slowed down. For sure. So maybe she's prepping for music too to drop. Yeah, she so got to build up, um, you know, get the people going like Anuel. Yeah. He's using the same tactics. Yeah. I do see it as her just wanting to put herself in that same conversation. But I just like have their names together. She is. Yeah. yeah. Disappointing. She's yeah. better than that? Which, like, like, she doesn't have better. to do shit like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you're a good artist. You don't. There's no reason to stoop that low. Um, 